Welcome guys, welcome back, welcome back. My name's John, this is my channel. And uh, we're playing Starfield. And uh, so far, it's fun. It's it's fun, it's a fun game. We have a bunch of fetch quests to do. Some, uh, some shooting. Fortunately, it's not first person. Well, you can use, you can make it first person, you can make it third person. So, um, yeah. So, so far, it's a pretty fun game. I'm not having, I'm having a good time making it. Uh, so we are going to do another quest. We have these activities. Let's do the activities. Let's talk to Sergeant Yumi. He's 55 this way. Nah, I can't get in there, dude. Can I jump over there? Yeah. Um, spaceport. I didn't know they went that far. I didn't know that happened. Anyway, guys, so happy Saturday. Uh, it is Saturday evening here. It's a beautiful night. Uh, early night, early evening. It is a very tempered out. I might be abandoning ship on this and going out and enjoying it with the wife. I'm not quite sure, but she's watching uh, Too Hot to Handle at the moment, so. She uh, she watches him with one of her friends. They both start watching at the exact same time so they don't miss anything because the exact same fucking thing happens every time. Nothing. It's all, it's all for $200,000 split between like 14 people. So each of them get like a thousand dollars, right? Worth it. But they like the show, so that's all that matters. All right, so we are on a mission from God. Oh, wait, no. That's from Blues Brothers. We are running over here to talk to some dude, and hopefully he's not in the water. He's not. Oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Where? What statue? Can you want to talk? talk? It's you and me from here out. Sure, go ahead. No. Bye. What uh, statue were you were you referring to? This? Hmm. I don't know what set you're referring to. This is the UC security office. Cutscene. Uh, no, no cutscene. Just the dude. Oh, and she gets to just go behind right. the counter, then I will too. Good to see you. Listen, I uh, smoothed over that incident between Matteo and Rosa at the Sanctum. I'd hardly call it an incident, more of a debate, really. <clears throat> but I appreciate it just the same. Not a problem. In the meantime, maybe you could tell him to take it down a notch. Can do. Thanks again, Sergeant. Well, hello. You hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. You did, huh? Gotta admit, I was against the sign at first. Felt 
cheesy, you know. Like we're hiring a dishwasher. So, one of those so they're, they're, they want people to Here help them, are. and he thinks and the method is cheesy. And if nothing else, New Atlantis security is Law just that. or looking and cheesy. When we're fully staffed, that is. I want him on my team, right? Long story. And need some help. You interested? Well, uh, first things first, I have to ask. Do you have any security experience at all? <clears throat> it sure counts for something. I mean, you're alive. And resilience is definitely an important trait for any officer. Well, I think I've heard all I need. Your first assignment couldn't be easier. Go to Mast and check in with Agent Plato at Aegis. There was a package left at a dead drop and they need UC security to handle it. He'll fill you in on the details. You know, Mast, uh, the Military Administrative and Scientific Triumvirate. Giant building in the center of the city? Headquarters of the entire United Colonies? Uh, Where are you looking, dude? Are you reading from a script? I'm over here. Hey. Aegis? They're basically UC intelligence. They help identify threats to New Atlantis before they become problems. Aegis is in Steel While Rising. Separate departments, there are times we need to play that game, guys. Other, so it's important to watch my video on it. Relationship. And play it. We do Agent Plato this favor, and maybe he'll toss you like some Bloodborne, you like uh, Dark Souls, stop. you like Tim Sarah, you like you know how it works. Sekiro, you like any of those FromSoft games? You like Steel Rising? A little more story to Steel Rising. Well, it's more straightforward. You know, you can understand it. You know what's happening. It's not like Fear the Old Blood, you know? Not that that wasn't the most dramatic cutscene of Bloodborne, but still. Well, just because you're bringing it here doesn't mean that's where it'll end up. <clears throat> As for Seriously, why, this guy, I don't know where he's looking. As far as I'm concerned, it's none of my business. Let okay. me know if you have any questions. I don't. I'll shoot you in the head. Last time I shot somebody in the head, everybody killed me, so... It's usually not a good thing to do. Contrary to what you might have heard, UC security personnel are good people. And Sergeant Yumi just happens to be an old friend. Oh yeah, how much of a friend? Hmm? Sarah? Hmm? You gotta wonder. But does it really matter in this case? I don't think so. Alright, so he wants us to go where? Why did we just lose the lose the the thing? Is it keeping the peace? Yeah. Why do Okay, now now we gotta Alright, let's go. Oh, we'll go over here. Across most settled systems and all of space craft. Well, we get to see something this time. I mean, maybe we did before and I was too busy talking to notice. I mean, there's that. That happens a lot. Cheers, guys. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Beautiful Saturday. I wish it would go on for another. 
20 hours. You know, I just do. I love, I love, like, days off uh, where you have something to do that will make you happy. You need to find things, wins in your life. You need to find things that make you happy. Reading a book, taking it easy, drinking a glass of wine while you're reading the book. Whatever. Watching Too Hot to Handle. Whatever it is. Playing this game, watching my videos, watching somebody else's videos. I watch everybody else's videos. Let me calm. It's like, how do these guys handle the situations that I did when I was playing? You know? Are they as much of an asshole as I am? You know? I mean, you know, there's there's all kinds of stuff like that going on. That's up. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Nighttime. Captain Obvious. Mast. Don't remember what it stands for, don't care. You don't have any door, huh? Your weather's that good. Come on in, Chiquita. Wow, do you see all those different places we can go? Bet we can find shit there to steal. This is like a, a space version of like the Witcher, except without any. Okay, so it's not it's not like that at all. <laughs> the only part that actually is like that is that is that there's so many side shoots and things that you can do that aren't any aren't of any general import, right? You can go and you can rob whatever or kill whatever and get all kinds of loot and it's not anything close to doing a mission or getting experience or anything like that. A succulent. Imagine that. Pretty soon there's going to be a succulent enemy. Alright, so I don't know where to go here, Sarah. Um, this way? Pardon. This dude. Oh, shit. I hope you're not here to report something. Maybe. Maybe I'm here to report you, dumbass. I just talked to you. What are you, you doing? Are of course, welcome at any time here at Mast. Why are you wearing uh, USB drives on your Best face? Be aware that you are being monitored. He's got two there and one there. I mean, who stuck those there? I'm the acting head of Aegis, the intelligence division here in Mast. I oversee all our active projects and agents in the field, and I'm afraid that's <clears throat> not as much detail as I can give you. Well, I was able to walk right in here, so that's cool. All you really need to know is that we're here to serve, and we're the good guys. Our main priority is the safety and security of the citizens and assets of the United Colonies, wherever they may be. We keep an eye on, well, everything. You guys want to play Boulder Skate? Me too. It'll be out in a few days on the uh, PlayStation 5. We're playing it. Three games at one time? Well, you're certainly entitled to that opinion. And there are plenty of others who share it. We'll be looking out for you just the same. You know what? I'm, I'm going to say what I fucking want, Plato. <laughs> no. 
my parents would never have been so presumptuous. Every agent who joins How is that presumptuous? Well, I mean, I guess. Approval, of course. I chose this for myself when I signed on. I have, of course, since learned that I am not nearly as smart as I thought I was as a younger man. I suppose none of us are. We're the intelligence arm of the United Colonies. Think of it this way. You see security response to threats. It's Aegis's job to anticipate and prevent them. Empty. Ah, right. You're Sergeant Yumi's recruit. You're taller than I expected. Statistical average, psychological tendencies, a sergeant's need to tower over his subordinates. But really, it was just a joke. I meant nothing by it. In any case, let me fill you in. We have a dead drop that we think has been compromised. So I'd like someone from UC Security to handle the pickup instead. Take the package back to Sergeant Yumi, and he'll <coughs> check it in as evidence before it gets routed back to Aegis. We think non-UC affiliated groups have their eye on it and are using it to identify field agents. Good. Normally, we might get to shoot somebody location, for real. But we didn't get this intel until after the drop. So we're going to need non-Aegis personnel to do the pickup to cover our tracks. Well, I told the sergeant that anyone hired for this job should get my stamp of approval first. At least this guy's looking at me, unlike the other dude who's like looking over here. Like we're watching one of them fucking documentary things where the person's looking off camera at, you know, whatever, right? I mean, when I want to address you, would I look at the camera? It's just rude not to. And I'm not rude. I'm an asshole, but I'm not rude. All right, Take the let's pick it up. The spaceport. There should be a Galbank ATM right next to the station. The package is taped under one of the benches. Grab it and deliver it to Sergeant Yumi and the job's done. You really should know better than to ask for classified intel. What is this, your first day on the job? I'm going to shoot you in the head, you... I'm just giving you a hard time. Freaking... I still can't tell you what's in the package, though. USB flash drive and... Motherfucker. I couldn't think of anything better than that, guys. Pretty pathetic, I know. Was there Never mind. Good luck with the mission. He's fine, I'm not gonna kill him. Now that I made such an ass of myself trying to make fun of him. Maybe I'll shoot you, though, instead. Probably not. Not a good idea. Come on. What are you doing? Unsheath uh, your weapon, Sergeant. Quick, go before she gets in. Go. Go before she... Oh, she's already in. Listen, I can't hit that thing. Oh, I have the fucking scanner button on. Stop with the scan. Nath station. All right, so I got a I got a thing for the mic. Can you guys see that? Why did I get that? I don't know. I really don't know. I thought I think my voice sounds just fine, so I don't know why I got that. I'm serious. You guys can tell me all the reasons why I, I should probably have one, but I don't know what it even fucking does, so. Other than it clips really easy to the bottom of the thing. That was pretty cool. Spaceport. So, um... So here's another thing I'm going to put on, on, on uh, in another video. 
I was talking about, you know, the the marginal value or or even whatever kind of value that, that you're placing on a video game or whatever you're doing. So I'm like, I played 800 hours of Bloodborne, right? And I'm like, oh my god, I played 35 days of my life on Bloodborne. That cost me $30. That's by far the best investment ever whatever right and I'm, I'm going to talk about this again so this is just a a preview that will be a repeat so i'm at bowling and i'm talking to one of my uh a couple of my teammates you know like dude i played this game for 800 hours you know that's 35 days of my life it's like what are you talking about i played call of duty for the last call of duty for 2000 hours i'm like And the other guy's, yeah, I have a, you know, 1,200 hours log. And I'm like, I have nothing to say about that. That is so much time. That's so much time. All right, anyway. So we'll, we'll talk about that. All right, let's get, you know, I'm, I'm just sitting here and then, uh, you know. Oh my god, we got to get back. We got the baggage. It never hand. Sarah, you're in the way! Sarah! Alright, now what? Now go back? No? Oh no, 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 no. We need to go back to. Yeah. Can we have a little shootout right here? That'd be cool. No? No shootout. How about shooting out here? No, this dude. How's the investigation going? It, are you gonna look at me this time, questions? dude? Go ahead and ask. Listen, I should fucking shoot your smiling ass with your chrome dome head. Look at him. Look at, dude. Who put a who put like a bowl on your head and then and then like. Just zzz around it. Nice sometimes it looks good on people, sometimes oh, not. Like this guy? No. That being said, my luck seems to be turning Listen, around. stop saying that being said. I've gotten a lot of new personnel as of And don't ever say Who knew all I that being said again. Design. Oh my god. I have an extrovert thing. Oh yeah. Once I had a recruit who was basically bred to be UC security. I mean, his favorite book was our training manual. He knew every rule, every procedure, and on top of that was a pinpoint marksman. But he lacked exactly what you were talking about. Initiative. He ended up transferring to a desk job after a year. Anyway, here's your payment. And if I have any more work for you, I'll let you know. <clears throat> 2,000 credits, some experience, okay, now we're done with that, let's see what else we have on the docket, talk to the bartender at the viewport, like activities, because they're kind of like, not really that deep, boo, you know? I like that. Like in, in when you're playing Diablo 4 and you go into the dungeons, well, there's a lot of shit in there. But if you go into like the little ones that sort of look like a uh, like a window on its side, you know, it's just a little thing. You go in the thing and you kill the guy and you're done and you get the reward and you open the chest and then you leave. Kind of like those sometimes, you know. It doesn't have to be all that. It doesn't have to be all that, all the time. Can you guys jump like this and like fade in the air like that? Life is hey, Chiquita. Well. Let me know if I can get you anything. Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. Hi, Nessa. First time in New Atlantis? 
<laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice. Know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you? I like that. Let me know if there's any. I like that. When you um when you go to a restaurant and they they're like you know you have a two hour limit or an hour and a half limit dude i want to leave when you fucking open your mouth and say that when the guy goes to sit you to to show you to your seat they say that to you bye if you don't want me i'm gonna spend so much money in this place that you won't need the next one or the next one but you won't know that because you had to open your mouth. It's probably that not, not that guy's fault. It's probably his boss, right? See, this only works if we both talk. Otherwise, we're gonna I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk. Pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. Really? A new drink that'll make this place famous. Galaxy wide. Hmm. You would love it, I guarantee. Only I can't make you one right now. Don't have the ingredients. What do you need? I made a deal with a holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was mm -hmm. Now they're just sitting on it. Taking their sweet time like they always do. I have to go steal it. I submitted all the paperwork. Believe me, it won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really, I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just, I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, with me on this? Surely you're not seriously considering this course of action. The last thing we need is UC security on our backs. I mean, who do I need to kill? God, you have no idea what a relief this is. I'm not going to say I'm that. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. I know a few things, but not much. The cargo is being held down at the spaceport, not in the security office. Still, they use the same access cards. If you had one, it'd work. <laughs> How or why you would have a UC security access card is none of my business, of course. I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Beyond that, the ship decks over there might also be able to get in. I don't know any of them, or I'd be talking to them instead of you. No offense. Like I said, I submitted the usual security release forms, but because my cargo is tied up with a bunch of, again, Not your cargo. unrelated illegal stuff, I don't expect the forms to matter. At all. I went and talked to an officer at the office, too. You, me. Mm -hmm. Sergeant, maybe? He was polite, but unhelpful. I declined to suggest that as our new slogan. New Atlanta security. Polite, but unhelpful. Truth in advertising, eh? Catch you later. 
Um, need this. I need to say, hey there, new girl. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? I hear there's some sort of citizens group trying to get the old Varun embassy torn down. When I first heard about it, I thought it was a bit extreme, but really, would you want to move into that place? Me neither. And it's mm -hmm. not like they're ever coming back. House Varun, I mean. Well, at least not make nice and be all diplomatic. We all know how that went. You know, I had a guy in here last week ranting that General Shao ought to send the Marines down into the well. I'm usually all for letting folks speak their mind. Most times it can't be helped that anybody stuck living in the well, it almost certainly isn't by choice. And things down there aren't that bad. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. How does she trust me? She doesn't even know me. Well, that's what I'm here for. What'll it be? Wow. I'm buying any of that. Stop by any time you'd like to catch up. Alright, so... Hey. Doesn't look like they're going to show me anything about this. Wait, access secure storage. Let's go there. First, let's save it. All right. Here we go. Oh, wait. Yeah, we have to go around this thing. Can't you see I'm, I'm dealing with something? Did you not hear? They won't let me enter the city. Me, a political envoy who comes here constantly trying to help prevent another war. And this is the thanks I get? They won't let me enter without a diplomatic visa? Ridiculous. Oh, really? <laughs> and here I am biting your head off. Apologies. I'm just, well, rather flustered. Look, if you have time, <clears throat> could you please go to the Freestyle Collective Embassy and speak to a diplomat? They'll know what to do. Thank you. I'll wait here until the Embassy sends the cavalry. Not like I have much choice. That's what it is, dude. So that's what you're just going to need to wait. I'll get to it when we, when we get to the many side excursion jobs that we have going on. For some reason, I'm still wearing a hat. 
Alright, seized cargo. Yeah, I can't do anything with this dude standing hey, right this here. This really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. Listen, I'll shoot you in the head. I can help you with? Yeah. I can't really just let you in there. To persuade a person, you need to make more successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice is a diff has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the source fails. Choice fails. Um, okay. So... Plus one, plus three, plus five. Finally, someone who gets it. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. All right, look, don't tell anyone I did this for you. I can lose my job over it. Anyone so you, you pick enough to exhaust the meter? One second. All right. Make it quick, please. Anything else in here? Like some kind of goofy ass shit? No? All right. Thanks, dude. Go back to Nissa. Is there a problem? Yeah. I'm gonna shoot you in the head if you keep it up. There she is. Okay. Hello. Um, is it? Howdy. Jumping on the glass. All right, come on. Hey there, new girl. Oh, come on. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? See you around. We can't see her face unless we go over here. Better think about what you're taking. Hey there, new girl. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. I sold that thing and she saw it. Oh, no way. You really got it? I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? <laughs> I mean, I want to know, but it's maybe better if I don't. I certainly hope not. This is a huge deal to me, but it's not worth either of us murdering over. Well, look, I can assure this will all be worth it in the end. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you have the first ever sample. On top of that, you get free drinks. Not, not like unlimited free drinks. But you want a little pick-me-up now and then? I got you covered. I need some time to work on what comes next. But this, this was the difficult part, I think. Really, thank you so much. All right, 425 experience. We got a few things there. Stop by anytime you'd like to catch up. All right. What's she doing up there? Strange one. All right. What's next? Oh, that's that dude that wants to do business with me or whatever, or I asked to do business with him. Let's do this. 
talk to a business diplomat for that dude at the at the um he's waiting at the ship and nobody will let him come in unless I talk to a diplomat. Well, I guess I see this every time. I just thought it was that one time. Gal Bank, a Sunfield office, UCN distribution. Okay. Wow, you look completely different. I feel. Can you imagine how many credits flow through this place? Figuratively, of course. We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. Ask whatever you'd like. Hmm. Time to go? You don't have anything yet. It's a shame House Varun abandoned their embassy. Actually, a great example, Marcus. The man in the story was cool. Do you know why he was cool? You must feel what he feels, understand his pain, accept it, and deliver it not back upon you. Empathy. You mean empathy? But you say right. it like it's easy. Fine, guys. Maybe we just have a good time talking about it. Memorial. Hard to believe it's been two decades since we were at war with the collective, and it seems like only yesterday. It's you and me from here out. Goodbye. Welcome to the Free Star Embassy. Is there something I can help you with? You can't forget what you don't need. Diplomatic visas haven't been in use since the colony war. No, this sounds to me like a guard bought a red marker and colored some tape. I'll make a call to Sergeant Yumi and see if I can't get this squared away. Thanks for the tip. There we go. And that's that. Don't you worry. I'll have our people go and fetch the representative. So I need to run back to the dude and tell him that that's what's going to happen. Yep, base part we go. Let's see what the dude has to say now before we go up and get a refill.
Uh, why are we here? My ship. Did I, did I select the wrong quest? I did. Back to the grind, that's... Hmm. All right, we need to we need to do this one. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. My contact is in Vanguard recruiting, so expect a sales pitch when you meet. I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes, concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. We I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but we it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah. There's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. Okay. Hey! There'll be plenty of time for shooting later. Oops. Didn't mean to shoot. Bye. She didn't she'll get the next train. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. She'll get the next train. I didn't just leave her. I might have tried to, but obviously it didn't work. So. Find a tree. One biosensor. The other one's over here.
Peace. I really don't understand the CO2 O2 thing and why I'm wearing a suit inside, but you know, it is what it is, right? Uh, what's just closer? This one? Uh, I'm wondering whether that is not. Here. I'm going to go this way. Um, oh, how do I get Welcome down again? Past. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. I can't remember. Like, we need to go down there. Oh, here. Oh. Jetpack damaged or something? I don't have a jetpack. So, oh, um. Is that the only one in the region? Alright. I'm so excited to see Tony after work. I thought there was another one in that area where that I was in, but but only not. So I need to go back there, I know. So this is the only one that's here. This way. How do I get that? Like that, I guess. Great. Talk about a, a uh, fetch quest, right? Total. Fetch quest here. It's fine. It's fine. I don't mind it. Get a little bit of experience. You know, some cred sometimes. Who knows? What you might get. You didn't hear this from me, but those hey, are you looking for eggs too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. Uh, what? You better just give me that right this moment. That lady paid for him?
Bulk items may require multiple levels of approval and can take up to several weeks for an official response. We apologize Whatever. for any delay. Just give me your egg. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? Oh, really? Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? I'm gonna shoot you in the head. Pleasure doing business with you. You mean besides providing a pleasant face for customers to interact with? It's all in the name. We distribute. Never a yeah, okay, moment. let's oh, let's see what you sell. Maybe she sells some uh, lockpicks. I know some people don't believe it, but we really do the best we can. Wouldn't still be working here if I didn't care. No, you'd be. You're only working there for money. Oh well, certainly. Bullets. What are the what are the uh what are they called the the lockpicks? I don't remember what they're called now. Whoa. Boost side star. Eighteen hundred. Um Let's start with a D. Yeah, you don't have any, huh? 37,000 for the N67 smart gun. Jesus. I can almost afford that. Yeah, I don't, I don't want any of your shit. Back to it then. So we have um, dot digipex. So it starts with a D, right? So I looked, and the shouldn't have anything to start with a D. Break time. I'm gonna go and grab some food. And I will be right back. Thanks for watching, guys. If I decide to make this a new episode, um, please subscribe. I really liked making it, and we will see you soon. Please subscribe. Thanks.